Hey everybody, it's Pluto, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Wind Waker uh, HD. And we're still doing some sliding puzzles because they have four more to go, and now it's time to get... Nico, I think is his name? i probably wrong, but anyway. Let's get started, and I probably should have checked, because I, I would have... I should have learned from this point, but also I can tell he's got his legs there, so... Makes it a little bit easier to figure out which bit goes where. Just for starters. Oh, and actually, that one goes... There, so that's actually pretty perfect. Just there. But I also need to get this other piece, I believe, that piece, into position down here. So let's put that there. And let's string those all along there. Okay. Put those all into position. The glow effect of this is kind of difficult to look at. Okay, bottom part of his face. And then something on either side? No, more torso. Torso, torso. But what goes on the side of his torso? Is the real question. Uh, it looks... darker? So maybe... Oh, hang on. I'm making interesting life choices right now. Okay, 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 okay. That connects there, and that connects there. Good, okay. Am I crazy? Am I crazy? No. I was almost crazy. Because it looked like those pieces were all gonna fit together just right. But no, I need... to change this very slightly. I can see, I think, what needs to be changed. Quite possibly. Hang on. This is a little bit more complicated than it looks. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. Hang on. This is gonna... This is gonna hurt me in a little bit. So I need... Move that there. And that there. And then... That there. Right, right, right. Hang on. <laughs> my brain, my brain! No, not quite. I'm getting close. I'm on the right track. I just made a little bit of an error. Maybe a bigger than I realize. Almost. Almost, 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 almost. Because that needs to be swapped around with that one somehow. that. But then that needs to be there. What have I done? <laughs> what have I done? What did I, what I do? Okay, okay, okay. Is that good? It might be. Looks like it. There we go. Three more to go. Well done, master. Get more rupees. 
We're over 4,000 now, so... Need to use it wisely. Just grab all of this. Okay, that was only 50 rupees. I feel like I'm getting ripped off. If that's only 50 rupees for each puzzle. But I mean, if it's like however many puzzles there are, it's kind of worth it. Kind of. Okay, beetle. Gonna learn from my mistakes. Okay. I don't need the explanation. Let's just go. Okay, so that's the piece that I need to start with, probably. Let's just put that there. And then... That piece needs to go there, except I need to do... My order better than this, please. Thank you. Now, what fits on either side? I think I need the sh shadow... Bit here. Over here. Yes, so let's pull that up a level. And then I think... I'm actually fairly close. Actually, that looks like it's going to fit. Cool. Let's do that then. And then... Slide that into position. Okay, next level. Uh, we need... His torso. Where does his torso fit together? That one goes there. I think that means that this piece over here needs to go... There-ish. Except not like that. And then we need the top two pieces up there. Um, let's... Quickly rearrange a few things. Okay. Okay. I think I've got a piece in the wrong spot, but I can easily fix that in just a second. Like that. Okay. Okay. Cool. Now I need to fix this up because that's not quite where his hand goes. Where his face goes. Um, let's put that there if I can. Okay, now I just need to move. How did I get his hands around the wrong way? Wow. Did I rearrange the hands? I don't think I did. This is a little bit... silly. Okay, no, I didn't rearrange the hands. I need to get that one... up there. And there. Now I need to get those around... opposite each other. Somehow. Okay, that's not where I want that hand to be, though. We're just gonna... have something to do with how to fix this. So let's just move those pieces together like that. I think we're just about there, except I don't want that piece there. I want it on the other side. It's very close. Um. So now I just do that, and then I reverse, slide everything back into position, and we're done. Two more to go. All those rupees. I'm definitely not doing this efficiently, but I am doing them, so... They're getting the result that I want, so... All, that's all that really matters. Wow, it really is only 50 rupees per puzzle. It's not even worth it. Even if you are good at block slidey puzzles. Okay, who's left? B Moblin, apparently. 
starting off with his feet and lantern, bottom of his uh, spear. Let's see how we go. So I want the lantern in last. I want his feet in fairly close to the middle. Oh, but I can see where his staff is, which is good. It's actually really great for me. But I need to figure out where I'm missing something. I think it's the light. No. Something in the middle there that I'm missing. Maybe it is the light. Hang on. Let's uh, wind back my brain a bit. Well, this seems wrong. <laughs> well, that's okay. Let's try... Reversing it like that. There we go. It's like what I'm normally trying to do, except from the other side. Okay, that's the first layer. Now we need to get... the main body together. Staff and all. Skull necklace. I guess if I put that there, I can slide that in there. Except now I've got a piece where I don't want it to be in the middle of all that. But maybe if I just slide that in like that, we'll be good. Okay. It's pretty close. I need this arm on the other side. I think those clouds should stay together like that, possibly if I can manage that. Okay. So close now. Still need that arm on the other side. And also those clouds to be where they're supposed to be. I have made a terrible terrible choice. Hang on. Um, that's not gonna work. That's kind of close. See what happens if I put it like that. And then rotate that to be at the right spot, and then just rotate round. I should probably have gone the other way, actually. I think... Okay, now I have that one on the wrong side. That's okay. Uh, uh. Just put that there, I think. And that should just all fall into place. Okay, we're up to the last one. Hopefully. I must, after all this, done all these sliding puzzles. All this for just rupees. Which we've never needed to actually go out of our way to get more. I mean, we have kind of gone out of our way to get more because of doing all the sunken treasure, but I wanted to do all the sunken treasure. I wanted to get as many possible chests and all that wherever I could, so. Just because I want to get everything in the game, pretty much. Oh my goodness, the Helmarok King. Okay, starting with the talons and end of the wing. Well, I guess the good thing about this is I have the color background working with me. Okay, so talon there. I need the sky 
there pretty much. That's actually pretty, pretty perfect starting off. Now I need the rest so I can fit that in. Okay. I just do that. That kind of is where I want it, but not really. Um, rotate this a little bit, okay, and now we can set that into place. Okay, okay. Tail goes there, so that's good. But I also need that bit there, and now I think it's head? Yes. I might rotate these a little bit to make it a little bit easier to get the head in there. Because now I just need to get the head across, and now rotate into position. I probably shouldn't start on the second next next row until I've done this, so I was trying to start on the next row, but I really should not do that. Now let's see what we have to work with. Not a ton, and I think that's also supposed to go there, yeah. Okay, so we're pretty close actually. Just need to figure out the top two bits, which is going to be the toughest part about this. And where does that... the clouds go? I think the clouds go further that way somehow. If I can rotate everything around. Where did I put that? I think I put that in the complete wrong spot, but that's okay. It's the method. It's a, it's a method. I don't know if it's the method. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh hoy. Oh hoy. Oh, that's interesting. That's very interesting. That's, that's interesting, you know? When it just falls into place, it's just that interesting. Well done, Master. Well done, indeed. You are among the most talented gen- uh, gamesmiths of the noble classes. Offer you this as an expression of my respect and admiration of your skills. Please accept it. More rupees. Oh, hey! Good ones. Actually get more than 50 this time. Use it wisely. That's better. That's a lot better. Let me just quickly go out in it again to see what it- what changes. Or if anything changes. And it's back to the first one. Oh my goodness, I'm not going through those again. <laughs> the lights are all off and it's back to uh, part, part one. Ah, don't make me do it again. <laughs> Please. Don't time me on how, to, how long that takes me to do all of them. It takes too long. Anyway, let's head to Forest Haven now, which I should probably just use the cyclone to get to. But also I can just sail probably. I want to go up as high as I possibly can, which is higher than we've normally gone. Just to get the leaf. Because all the way up here there's even more. As long as I do it correctly. Please. Thank you. I think I need to go this way. I think. Please. Land. Now, if I'm not wrong, which I think I am, I thought there was something else up on that branch, but I don't think I can reach that far. Possibly unless that bud goes even higher than it should. But hey, there's a island over there that we didn't go to. Now, I think this is where I want to actually pull out my hoi pair. So let's do that. Nope, not here. Apparently. Well, that's a shame. I'm not close enough to any. You have to be near a seagull for it to work. Oh, there's some down there. Am I not- am I too high? If I'm too high, then that's a disappointing thing. Oh, hey! There's actually just a switch here! No! Why? 
Why? Why did you not? Ah. Okay, so I think possibly over here, right next to where the 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 lily pad is, that I think it will actually lift you up here. If you go out this door, I think this is where I was supposed to be before doing the other way. So let's get out a hoi pair. Also, apparently the trees here. Ah, is this not where I'm supposed to be? As I was saying, apparently the trees here aren't actually made of wood, so you can't use the hook shot for some reason. Okay, apparently this is not the right spot, so I'm going to have to go back in and go higher, I guess. Because I don't think there's anywhere there that I can use. So my plan B, going back to where I was before, I might possibly be crazy, but I wonder if I need to actually go down there first, and then figure out the switch. Nope, hang on. I did it again. Okay, let's make it northwest, and I hopefully won't be upset with that in a second here. I think I will actually. Well, hopefully if I get this wrong, it'll allow me to go back the normal way. Okay. Well, it'll teleport me back up there would be good. Okay. Just drop down here. Get some magic. There's also this here, which I guess won't just work for me. It's a ladder. Uh, but I can hoi pair in a second here. You're incredible! Did, did you know... Uh, or did you just fly down here? That's the coolest thing ever. Hey, if you can fly, do you think maybe you can hit this, that switch over there, huh? Can you? Huh? Can't see it. It's just over there, up toward the top of the forest haven. Don't you have a telescope? I mean, who doesn't have... who doesn't in this day and age? Okay, well, also just gonna read the sign quickly. Palace of Figurines, Nintendo Gallery. Membership required to enter. Okay. Well, let's use a hoi pair. Let's see if we can hit that switch up there. Rem remembering to flap to actually make sure that we can hit the switch. Hit it. Hit it. There we go. Whoa. And there goes that ladder, so that's a shortcut up as well. Thank goodness we have a shortcut up to this place that we don't really need to go to ever. <laughs> oh my goodness, that seagull. Anyway, let's go into here now. Oh, this is interesting. Different area designs on the wall. I don't remember this at all. Welcome! Welcome to the Nintendo Gallery, Figurine Palace. This is your first time here, isn't it? Did one of our members provide you with an introduction? I hope. Ah, well, no worries. One way or the other. We've been losing members due to our lack of... Gimmicky attractions, but we don't worry. Ah, true fans know we're the coolest. So anyway, do you know what it takes to become a member of our club? The figurines have been, uh, have on, we have on display here, have all been made using pictographs provided by our devoted members. If you bring me the master sculptor a pictograph that uh, steals my breath away, then you'll become a member, and you'll become able to view the collection in our galleries. And won't that be nice? Do you have such a pictograph? I don't know that I do. So, you were a member of... member this whole time. Awesome. Hey, and thanks to you, I got in and became a member too. Check it out. I gave this guy a pictograph, and he gave me this figure... figurine in return. Talk about cool. This will be all the rage. So I believe that means... Oh hey, sorry, we... But only members are allowed to view our gallery. Okay, um... Can I give you a picture, maybe? Would you like to become... A, be a member? Oh, in that case, bring me a pictograph that steals my breath away. As far as what kind of pictograph has 
the power to steal my breath away, well, it can either be either be either a person or a monster. You just have to be careful to take a full body shot with your subject facing you. But until you bring me a subject that I can like, that that I like, you can't join. Sorry, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. I am making these figurines for free, so I don't. So I figure I should be allowed uh, this one little rule, don't you? Well, I can show you this lady. Ah, ha, hmm. This is quite an ins inspiring motif. Hurrah, I'm filled with inspiration. Please, permit me to sculpt this. I will, it will be a jewel of a figurine. So what's your name, kid? Link. Link, is it? Well, Link, this officially marks your introduction into our little club. I think I should be done with this tomorrow. I'll have to ask you to be patient until then. What? Well, anyway, we can look in these rooms, I guess, based on the different areas of the world. And I'm guessing if you take pictographs of everything everywhere, you can view statues of them in here from the different areas. But I, based on the credits of the game, I don't think I want to do that. And I don't think it's worth taking pictographs of everything, so I'm just going to leave it at that, but... I mean, this is cool, but a lot of a lot of unnecessary work, I guess. If you could pay to, like, win, I guess, with the ru with rupees, I feel like that would be better, just a little bit. But I don't think I want anyone's gonna want to spend their time doing this. But anyway, I guess you can also take pictures of these characters, maybe, to possibly be able to have them make their own sculptures. Oh, Link, it's you. Should be done with my work tomorrow. Are you going to show me more? Alright then. I'm working myself into a stupor, but that's never stopped with me before. Let's see what you've got, what you've got then. So you can do multiple at once, which is good. Let's do that one. Saying my fans want this figurine? Wow, that golden, freshly brushed hair. That stylish, yeah. Unassuming bod. Why that? Uh, this is a mighty handsome man. Mercy, my very soul compels me to make a figurine from this picture. Please permit me to sculpt this. It will be a jewel of a figurine. Okay. Well, anyway, um. Guess I can erase these then, probably. That one doesn't have characters, that one does. But even so, if just this is still seems way too much work. Just in general, so. Uh, let me just quickly change the time. And I guess it has to be a full day cycle. Welcome, Link. Your figurine-based request has been fulfilled. It's been a long time since I've done work this exceptional. Go in that door to check it out. I was completely overcome with the creative urge after seeing what you gave me. I ended up making lots of figurines, but all that artistic spirit made me a little absent-minded. So I don't exactly remember which rooms I placed them all in. Why don't you go and have a look inside? Okay, well... Which ones did I give you? I don't really remember. Let me check the Windfall Island room. Because I think, yeah. So this is what they kind of look like. It's basically the same, just a little bit shiny, I guess. Info. Linda, birthplace Windfall Island. Best friend, Subel. Lately, her childhood friend, the delicate Camo, has become smitten with her. But she is apparently completely ob ob obl obliv ah, oblivious to his feelings. You can rotate. Zoom in and zoom out. Anyway, I think that's just about everything other than Beetle that I wanted to do, so... I guess now I'm gonna go grind points off a of Beetle, maybe? Or maybe I just won't, <laughs> because there's not really much point in doing that, even so, so... Anyway, also the boat 
your King of Red Lions will be here for you. So, yeah. But anyway, I guess then that is it for now. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.